is up everybody it's your boy zilly i'm back with another optimization video and today i'm going to be showing you guys how to optimize your valorant for the least and pelag the most frames and the smoothest gameplay that you could possibly imagine and basically we're going to be covering windows settings gpu settings and in-game settings now a lot of people on the internet like to say that you shouldn't cap your frames well let me tell you valorant you should cap your frames you want the least possible latency and the most consistency possible so without further ado let's get right into the in-game settings boot up your valorant Head over to the gear icon on the top right, go to settings, we're going to go to general, we're going to scroll down a bit, and under other, we're going to turn off show corpses and show blood. This should leave you with less animations on your screen, and the corpses will look like holograms instead of corpses, so it'll be easier to see who just, who is the dead person. So, and then we're going to head over back to video, off limit fps on battery limit fps in menus limit fps in background however we're going to be turning on limit fps always now a lot of videos i've seen for valorant they tell you to leave it on unlimited that is wrong you get better latency whenever your fps is capped in valorant so we're going to be maxing out our fps at 144 I'm using 144 because I have a 144 hertz refresh rate monitor. If you have a 60 hertz, use 120 or 180 because even higher than 60 helps a lot tremendously. And I'm gonna be using 144, or I can be using 288. You basically want to be using a multiple of your refresh rate. For example, for 240, 240, 480. One of those numbers should be fine for 360. You probably can only handle 360 stable FPS. So you want to also be considering what FPS is the most stable while also being the most highest. So for me, that's 288 and normal matches and unrated. I get pretty much 288 the whole game. So that's a perfect number that I should be capping at. All right. Make sure our display mode's on full screen. A lot of you use windowed full screen to stop the black screen or to minimize faster. This actually worsens latency and you want this on full screen. You do not want this on windowed full screen. Resolution, uh, for you low end people, I'd consider dropping this down to 1600 by 900 or 720. This is just to ensure that you get more FPS. And since you are in a low end system, it might not be able to handle the 1920 by 1080 demand. So I know I can handle 1080, so I'm gonna be sticking with 1080. So I'm gonna go to graphics quality. Uh, this is basically uh, where you wanna turn off mostly everything. So material quality, low, texture quality, low, detail quality, low, UI quality, low. Make sure VSync and Vignet is off and anti-aliasing to none and anastropic filtering to one X. Bloom off distortion off and cast shadows off it's pretty much what you want to be using in order to get the most frames and if you want to see your fps go to stats client fps and make sure this is on text only if you want to see packet loss and other settings again text only graph will probably use more resources at just doing it while you're gaming pretty much it for the settings all right so once we're back in our desktop we're going to be optimizing our window settings let's press windows key and i on our keyboard to bring up the window settings and we're going to head over to system we're going to go to notifications and actions and we're going to turn off all of this we're going to head over to focus assist settings same thing off and all of these automatic rules to off power and sleep for this one we're going to head over to our valorant optimization pack make sure you download this from the description i'm going to be extracting this with 7-zip you could use WinRAR or whichever one you'd like to use. I'm gonna open up the folder. I'm gonna optimization files. I'm gonna be going to import power plan. I'm gonna be double clicking this bat in order to import our power plan. So as you see, it's imported the power plan. Go back to our settings. We're gonna to go to additional power up settings. We're gonna set this to Zilli's public power plan. This is a lot better than the default Windows power plans like balance, high performance, and power saver. You don't want to be using any of these three. You want to be using Zilli's public power plan. All right, head over to storage. Turn off storage settings. This is just an extra service that you want running in the background. I'm going to go to multitasking. Turn off the timeline. You don't want this at all. And we're going to head over to shared experiences. Turn this off. Remote desktop, same thing. 
Let's go back to home. Let's go to devices. Set up on our mouse. Let's go to additional mouse options, pointer options. Turn it off, enhance pointer precision. You want this always off in every competitive game and press apply. And you want this on the six tick and that's okay. Now we can go back to home. Let's go to network and internet. And now we're gonna go to change adapter options. We're gonna be clicking ethernet or whichever ethernet you're using. Now for Wi-Fi, you can just skip this. But for ethernet, go to properties, configure. I'm going to be optimizing our network adapter settings. Now go to driver and if your driver date is very old, 2015 or just not the newest one, go to search up Realtek family controller on the Google and there should already be a prepackaged Windows 10 driver installer. Just use that and it should update your drivers. So we're going to go to power management. We're going to uncheck everything here. I'm going to go to advanced energy efficient internet. We want this off, gigabit lit lit off green ethernet off scroll down power saving mode off the down like a land useless features so we're going to turn this off same thing with magic packet and pattern mesh wol and shut down links bid just press not speed down and we can just press ok and I'll apply our settings your internet will go out for a few seconds and it should come back so that of here gonna go back to home we're gonna go to personalization, colors, turn off transparency effects. These use a little bit of GPU resources, especially on low end systems, so you want this always off. Go back to home, apps. And now this is where you wanna uninstall everything you don't need, especially including Microsoft UWP apps, for example, alarms and clock or gaming services or Xbox apps. You don't need any of those, so you can just uninstall them. Like for example, I don't need Groove Music, I'm gonna be uninstalling it. Yeah, you want to keep these visual runtimes installed. If you don't have these installed, you get a whole bunch of errors whenever you try to run programs. So you want these installed. And yeah, that's pretty much it for this. Just uninstall stuff you don't use, stuff you've never used, bloatware, and stuff that you're unsure about. Just uninstall it. Usually the ones that you should not uninstall is your GPU driver and the visual C++ runtimes. So we're gonna go ahead, we're gonna head over to startup. Turn off everything here. Everything here you don't need at all. Go to home. We're gonna head over to gaming. Some of you use the game bar, but for a lot of you, keep this off. Game bar uses tremendous amounts of resources and it just worsens FPS and you just get this horrible input lag while playing Valorant or any type of game. So I'm gonna turn this off and go to captures turn everything off here as well and we're gonna head over to game mode we're gonna turn this on we're gonna head over back to home we're gonna head over to privacy we're gonna be turning off everything in general so this one this one this one this one go to speech turn online speech recognition off thinking and typing off diagnostics required tailored experiences off location off Camera, keep this enabled if you use a webcam. Microphone, keep this enabled. Voice activation, turn this off. Notifications, off. And basically, all the way until notifications to app diagnostics, turn them off. We're going to be disabling background apps as well. And basically, everything here, you're going to be disabling. And now, documents, same thing, off. Pictures, off. Videos, you want to be enabled, keeping this enabled if you use movies and TV to watch your videos and clips. So keep this enabled if you use that. File system off. I'm gonna head over back to home. We're gonna go to search. I'm gonna be turning off safe search, cloud content search, and search history on this device. These use a lot more resources and run services in the background that you don't want running. So let's go back to home. Update security. We'll go to delivery optimization. I'm gonna be turning off this. It's useless. We don't need it. Find my device. Same thing. Make sure this is set to off. And now we're gonna, we're gonna be worrying about Windows security in our folder. So let's go back to our optimization folder. Go back to our optimization pack. I'm gonna go to disable defender. I'm gonna double click disable defender. Press yes. Now, as you can see, 
want to be disabling defender because it's absolutely obsolete. You don't want to be you don't want to be using defender. It's not good. Get malware bytes or Casper key or some other antivirus that is reputable. Do not get Avast or AVG. Those are just not good. They're just free antiviruses that don't do the job well. Malware bytes is a 14-day free trial, so you could try to use that or Casper key or whichever. So we're going to be disabling Defender. As you can see, Defender's now turned off. So we can exit out of this. And we go back to our Valor optimization file. And now this is pretty much everything in Windows settings. And now we're going to head over to Registry Tweaks. Now for Registry Tweaks, if you're on a desktop, go into the desktop path. If you're on a laptop, go into this one. And you just want to be going Registry file, double clicking on it, pressing yes on the pop-up. And registry editor is saying, do you want to continue? And I'm going to press yes. And this basically just adds a little bit of tweaks that should help your system overall in different games. And yeah, press OK. I'm going to head over to Valorant optimization files. We have already imported our power plant. We've already selected our power plant. So we're going to head over right into GPU. Now, for GPU, if you're on a NVIDIA driver, I'm going to be listing a whole bunch of drivers on your screen right now of which ones to use and which GPUs. 441.41 is basically the one that you want to use for 20 series and under. 457.30, you could use that. And on a 30 series cards, 466, you'd want to be using that if you want to be using Reflex because 457.30, for some reason, it doesn't really work in Valorant even though you have the option. So if you want reflex low latency for whatever reason, use 466. And now for newer cards, LHR, limited hash rate cards, you cannot use 457.30 sadly. So just stick to 471.11 and you should be good to go. So for me, I have 441.41 installed and when installing drivers, you want to be using display driver or installer. A clean driver uninstaller and it just wipes the driver completely with every single driver uninstalled like audio drivers physics USB C drivers all that so you just have a clean slate with no drivers and you can just install your new driver and you're all good to go so if you want to be uninstalling your GPU driver and switching to the other one of the listed ones that I listed just go to select device type GPU just press clean and restart and once you've restarted you can just install your driver perfectly fine your, your resolution might look a little bit smaller or bigger depending on it just depends sometimes it doesn't but yeah if it does do not be alarmed once you install your gpu driver you should be back to native so i don't need to do this so i'm going to be exiting and out but i highly recommend you guys doing this do not skip this step it helps a lot of problems so yeah i'm going to be closing out of this and going back to our GPU settings and tweaks. If you're on AMD, I'm going to be leaving some screenshots of AMD control panel settings in the AMD folder. And if you're on NVIDIA, let's right click on our desktop, go to NVIDIA control panel. And we're going to adjust image smooth settings with preview. And you want to be choosing the middle option, which is use the advanced 3D image settings. You don't want to be using the slider because the slider actually just changes whatever's already in the managed 3D settings. As you can see, it's changed it. So you want to be using the middle option. Do not do not emphasize if it is on quality or not. It does not matter because we're using the managed 3D settings. We're not using the slider. So use the advanced 3D image settings. Press apply. I'm going to go to managed 3D settings. And you want to be turning off everything above CUDA GPUs. So I'm going to be turning off anastropic filtering. I'm going to be turning off gamma correction. I'm going to be turning off anti-aliasing and I'm going to be, I'm going to be turning, I'm going to be making sure that CUDA GPUs is set to my GPU, make sure it's checked. I'm going to be scrolling down a bit, turning off vertical sync and basically just make sure your settings look just like mine. I'm going to be giving you guys a scroll to see. And now if you're on 441.41, I'd like you to try low latency mode on versus off. Ultra might give you a little bit of, of FPS drop, so I wouldn't recommend that. But low latency mode on, I usually use that for 441.41. So I'm going to keep doing this on and then be pressing apply. So 
Now we're going to be going to adjust desktop in size and position. You want this on no scaling, but if you're using stretch dress, just set this to full screen. Mm, I don't use stretch dress, I just use native. No scaling is perfectly fine for me. So that's pretty much it for NVIDIA control panel. I'm going to be exiting out of this. Let's go back to our Valorant optimization pack. Let's go to GPU settings, NVIDIA, and we're going to be using NVIDIA profile inspector to change up a few hidden settings that are not in the NVIDIA control panel. So the first one is maximum pre-render frames. The higher you go, the more FPS you get, but the more latency you'll be getting in the game, and it's pretty noticeable. If you want the least latency, you should be using one. So we're gonna scroll down, but make sure CUDA for P2 state is set to off, and we're just gonna be pressing apply changes, and that's pretty much it for NVIDIA Profile Inspector. There's a lot of settings in here, and I pretty much ignore them unless you know what you're doing. So I'm gonna be I'm gonna be closing out of this now. I'm going to be heading back into our Valorant optimization pack and I'm going to be going to settings and tweaks, double click MSI mode and now for 30 series and AMD cards this is already enabled you do not need to do this step but for 20 series cards and 16 series cards we need to do this so our GPU is going to be unchecked here the GTX 1650 as you can see it's unchecked you want to check this and press apply and refresh and make sure it's still checked and just basically close out of it and we're going to go over to Valorant optimization files again and now this is pretty much it for optimizing your windows and your gpu settings however we've got one more special tweak for you guys a lot of videos don't do this so i'm going to be telling you guys this special tweak it's called disabling explorer while having your game launched and th this helps a lot on low-end systems and i mean tremendously helps a lot especially on low-end laptops so what this basically does it disables explorer and i'll be showing you guys what this does so i'm going to be typing one and pressing enter and as you can see there is no desktop there's no explorer tab or uh, taskbar it's just blank with the open programs still there so I'm gonna be present to to enabling that up again so I'm gonna be showing you I'm gonna be demonstrating on how to use this bat file so you want to you want to launch our game so once we have our game launched we could go back to the bat file and we could press one and press enter and basically this disables everything again and you just need to alt tab back into Valorant and you should be able to play perfectly, perfectly, perfectly fine. This helps a lot with mouse feel. You're gonna notice a big difference from disabling this. And yeah, that's pretty much it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed this. Appreciate all of you watching this video. And if this helped you, please leave a comment and like and subscribe. And now we're gonna get into on how to get even more FPS and less input lag and less latency. So basically I offer services on my website, zilli.as.me, and you can book these services. And I basically go through your computer and optimize everything from BIOS to Windows. And if you book the $50 optimization, this is where you get my custom windows, which is called Zilli OS. This is a custom windows where I use in this service and I basically optimize the custom windows a little bit since you can't do some manual things automatically. So I optimize that and then I optimize your BIOS as well. This will give you tremendously low latency and you'll be able to notice it in an instant. So if you really want to book this service or my $30 service to optimize your current Windows install, go to the link in the description or go to my website, zili.as.me. I hope you guys love this video.